like a hand snack. I like a spider snack. I like a brain snack. And I like a you snack. All right, guys, today we are in Noblesville, Indiana, about to go into this spirit Halloween right back here. And this one is also in an old H.H. Gregg, but look at that sign up there. This is one thing I love about going to so many different spirit Halloweens. They all look totally different. I'm just curious what makes this one so noble that it belongs in Noblesville. Other than that awesomely huge Spirit Halloween sign. Thank you, Automatic Doors. What in the world? Right in the door, we have the Deadly Creeper. Oh, you have definitely earned the title of Noble. Look at this fellow. <laughs> oh my God, he is so huge. I have not seen him set up anywhere, guys. Holy crap. All right, I gotta see what he does, because I have no clue. All right. I hear spiderly sounds. And he's moving his tentacles. His eyes are flashing. He is pretty dang awesome, man. You could set him up taking up half of your front porch. Brick Thunder did an unboxing of him, but I did not watch. Specifically because I wanted to wait till I got in a store that had him set up so I could see it for myself. And you, sir, have definitely earned yourself some stickers. All right, guys, unfortunately, we don't have the very noble Lord Farquaad here. And it looks like, wow, we don't even have the bog zombie over here. But we do have Mr. Grimm. Let's go and see how he's doing. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Are you going to talk to us today? Maybe you're taking a little skeleton nap. How do skeletons close their eyes when they're going to take a nap? I guess we'll never know. All right, let's see who is in. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm loving this store. Another animatronic that I have never seen set up. I saw the sitting, the swinging witch. Look at that eye. What in the world? <laughs> I saw the swinging witch for the first time about three stores ago, and I was so excited. All right, let's see if she's actually hooked up. No, I guess not. But you can see how she just probably swings, and I would assume that she makes sounds. I'll be very surprised if she doesn't make any sounds at all, and it doesn't say on the box that she does. Excuse me, miss, do you make sounds? I guess not. I'm kind of surprised that she doesn't even cackle. What in the world did I just do with my hand? Cackle. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I am getting nerdier by the day. All right, we have all four bubble tubes of death going. They're bubbling my face. And we do have young Crouchy here. Yes, he's hooked up. Look at that hairdo. I know, that's what everybody's saying about your hairdo. We have the sounds of death going on, we have the chains of death, we have the bubbles of death, and the hairdo of death. And thank you, the people of Noblesville, Indiana, for being innovative and filling these spaces with something. Hello, Mr. Skelebones. And hello, Mr. Monkey Skelebones. Holy crap, guys, there he is. I've not seen him set up anywhere else except the flagship store. This store right here is definitely earning the title of Noble because of this guy. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I finally get to see a punchy set up in a store, guys. I saw him at the flagship store, but it was so absolutely insane in there. I didn't get to spend too much time with him. Look at that face. And you know what? The hair is short enough where it looks crazy, but it looks okay. Like, it's not one of those where he's going to have a totally different crazy hairdo every time you look at him. And look at the size of these monstrous 
hands. What in the heck? Now, a lot of people online have been talking about how you have to fill his base up with sand or something. Like, after you get him, you have to go out and buy sand to fill up that base, I guess, to keep him from tipping over. But I think that's a small price to pay for this noble fellow. Let's go ahead and see what he does. I mean, I know what he does, but let's get him going. Here we go. Come closer. I have something to tell you. It's so funny. I promise you'll die laughing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I didn't notice, like, you guys tell me if these little wires, if they actually light up. I did notice the eyes light up, but the wires I can't tell because it's bright in here. Let's get them going again. Okay. Round and round and round I go. Where I stop, soon you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> what other lucky fellow comes with his own built-in hot air balloon? All right, these guys are gonna kill me if I stand here any longer and keep him talking. Thank you, Punchy, for making my day. Guys, this is definitely one, if not my favorite store I've been to so far. All right, before we go any farther, let's check out what they have for sale here on the floor. We got three pose and stay skeletons. We have two nozzles. And you know what's funny? I've yet to be at a store that actually has his hair done like that. And holy crap, guys, they actually have a Mr. Punchy on the floor for sale. Not even just one, but there's two three. All right, before I get too tempted, let's keep on moving here. We got two Grimms right here, and look at this. Holy crap, we have a straw man. Th this, guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the best stores ever. And of course, we have the fogging skull pile and three more life-size posable skeletons. All right, let's move towards the back here and see what else we have going on. Let's look at these animatronics first. We have nozzles. All right, we'll be there in a second, miss. Let's do nozzles first. Okay. Make way for the toxic spot. Yes. He's working awesome. And from what I understand, all the stores were told to unhook the fog because it was causing problems running so much. I mean, that's not a concern because if you have him set up in your own haunt, he's not gonna be running thousands and thousands of times a day. But in here, you can just imagine how many times he has to run. All right, let's get over here and see Betty Sharp. This is only the second store I've seen her in, I think. used to be mommy's favorite, but I took care of that. There is mommy's favorite in the bag. All right, let's get it going again. I wanna see that bag move, yep. I love cooking. Mommy lets me do all the chopping. <laughs> Let's see what else she says. I like collecting things. Can I show you my collection? <laughs> Can I show you my... Is it in your bag, miss? Can I guess what it is? Let me leave you a few of my collection. All right, let's go through the experimental electrical uh, tunnel of death. <laughs> Are we... All right, floor is buzzing. Will we be... Yes! We will be electrocuted! Ah! Okay, we lived. Let's get through the electrocution of death. I don't see any other animatronics on the floor for sale, but we do have some zombie babies. Man, I'll tell you, these things are flying off the shelf, guys. It seems like every store I go into, there are less and less zombie babies. I like a hand snack. I like a smiter snack. I like a brain snack. And I like a you snack. All right, wait a minute. We've seen a bunch of these guys. Here's the hook eye guy. Do they have the hook? They, they don't have the other hook one, the hook pig. But have we seen this guy anywhere, the hanging pumpkin man? He's not working. Let's see here. Hold on now. Just hold on. Yeah, apparently he's just supposed to light up. But he is pretty dang cool. I love these pumpkins and scarecrows. And what in the world is this guy? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that scary fellow anywhere either. All right, let's look at the creepy dolls here. We have the decrepit haunted doll as usual. She's in a lot of stores, probably because they never gave her a real name. So Donna, we're just solidifying it. You're decrepit Donna. Okay, then we have this creepy baby doll that everybody loves. And look at this, guys. We have hugs. The clown doll. Give me a thumbs up if you guys think that they should bring back Hugs the Animatronic. I so badly regret not buying the animatronic Hugs when he was out. The most recent one I've seen was 600 bucks on eBay. 
Hello, rat. Wait a minute, what the heck is this thing? Is that like a weasel or something? Mini hairy rat, it says. Okay, hello, rat. And here's a very small brain I haven't seen before. I love how standing right here you can hear all the craziness going on in the electric tunnel of death. Okay, let's come on back up front here. And look at this. This was not among the other inflatables. I know we didn't look at them, but a ghost face inflatable. You guys know that I bought that and I set it up in a video. It's absolutely huge and absolutely awesome. But you also have the Chucky greeter, the Sam greeters, more Chucky's and Sam's down here. Awesome selection of the tiny terrors, sidesteppers. We got Frankenstein and Billy Butcherson and Lydia and Sam. Whoa, what in the world? I have not seen this in any other stores. Hold on, let me get it out. The Hocus Pocus Winnie statue. What the heck? I didn't even know this existed. All right, I see that it lights up. I don't hear any sounds, but that is awesome. All right, aside from her, we have the popcorn statue that everybody's looking for, the killer clowns from outer space. We have the Binks statue. Uh, let's see, we have the killer clowns from outer space snow globe. And this statue that everybody's looking for. I love this store, guys. It is so stocked up. And look at this. We have a Sam snow globe with the alternate head. I don't think I've seen that before either. We have this whole area with a plethora of hanging ghouls, including this guy who I believe shakes. Yes. He is pretty dang awesome. Look at those teeth. He definitely needs the aqua fresh. All right, guys, I have not yet come over here to see the scream stuff, but look who we have right here in place of Monty. Holy crap. All right, let's get her going. That's what I'm talking about. She cut your head right off. She must have found out he was cheating right before the wedding. Anyway, so ghost face. Okay, so I see that they do have some of the new things here. We have the ghost face light up mask. Um, I don't see the chrome mask, but they do have the Dead by Daylight. We've seen these in other stores, but I am still on the lookout for the blue and the purple. Other than that, we are stocked with Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy, Chucky from Child's Play, Michael Myers from Halloween, and Jason from Friday the 13th. I swear somebody told me the Halloween Ends mask was supposed to be coming out September 15th. Now I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am, but I want one. No, 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 no. Look at this, guys. It is the official Pizza Planet jacket and hat. Oh my gosh, look at this. The lining is even silk with Pizza Planet print on it. The only other jacket in history that could be better than that is the little Nero's jacket and hat from Home Alone. Oh look, they also have the five foot Beetlejuice snake. Holy crap, he's so high up there. I don't want to take him down because I can't get him back up, but he is awesome. Whoa, and we are in luck because here's one that is not hung up. Look at the face on that guy. And he's all twisted up, but look, he has a rattlesnake tail. That guy is awesome. That makes me wanna go home and watch Beetlejuice right now. And we walked right by these earlier, but let's take a quick look. We have some of the Chucky dolls here in boxes, the try me, but you can't really hear what they're saying because they're inside a box. And this is Tiffany. And I don't know if it's two different kinds that I'm finding in stores, but there's one that looks like her hair is shorter or it's put up in like a bouffant, as I call it. I'll just have to take a closer look the next time I'm in a store where I see that one. And of course, down here, we have a sinister spirit doll and an animated doll greeter. And holy crap, guys, here's another dog costume that I have not seen in store, but people are posting it online. The doggo ghost face costume. Look at that. That is absolutely hilarious. Look at that tiny ghost face mask. And just to top it off, if you are a retail aficionado, here is the old H.H. Gregg sign. And if you pan around the room, you can see the other signs, furniture, home solutions, digital home theater, and appliances. How cool is that? You, my friend, 
live in an abandoned H.H. Greg. Wait a minute, there's one more thing I have to find while we are in here. Just bear with me while I look around the store for a minute, guys. Hold on, we are getting there. If they have it, it's gonna be over here. And yes, there it is right there. This store is 100% earning its name in Noblesville. There is Shrek's Noble Steed. <laughs> All right, guys, that was an awesome store. I would say that's the best Spirit Halloween that I have been in yet this season. It was definitely noble.